test. Simple as that. Um, you left click and that's done. The name has been changed. Okay. Now let's go inside. Let's double click on this folder. And I showed you this earlier. We're going to be working with the wp-config-.php PHP file. Excuse me. And um, all we want to do here is double click on that. That'll open us back up here. And we come down here, right here to my SQL settings. Now, this is why we copied our information over here. Go to your edit pad, your notepad, whatever you're using. You want to highlight your database name there. Right click and copy. And you come right here where it says DB name. Put your DB name here. Highlight that. And paste your database name into there. Same with your username. Just highlight that, right click and copy. Your username here. Let's go over here where it says your username here. Highlight that, right click and paste. And let's also take our, our password here. Right click and copy. And right here where it says your password here. You highlight that. Right click and paste. That's it. That's all you have to do there. Now, when you click the uh, to close this, you're going to get a prompt. It says, "Do you want to save changes?" Click yes. Okay, save. So just click your save button, and that is saved. And you can close this window now because we're done with that. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and log into our uh, FTP client. and uh, username, FTP username of course <laughs> and password if I can remember it here and go ahead and hit a quick connect and, go ahead and log into our FTP okay now you want to go over this is your I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm assuming that you know how to use FTP on this video it's a whole if you don't that's a different uh, different um, study course there learning how to use, use FTP which is not that hard at all either okay so for those of you who know I'm going to go to your public HTML uh, file of course you know this is your domain here and this is your desktop over here Okay, now uh, we're going to upload this directly into the root directory. It's not going to uh, affect your main directory because you've changed the name of the folder. That's going to go into its own subdirectory. Okay, we have it right over here on the desktop. You'll see it. Test. Okay, so let's go ahead and just highlight that, right click it, and click upload and that will begin uploading that WordPress installation into its own subdirectory on my domain on the uh, main domain which is what we want to do now this takes a while so we're gonna go ahead and pause the video while that uh, while that uploads and I'll be right back okay so that was successfully uh, uploaded to my server directory listing successful you'll see there okay so we can go ahead and uh, close this as you can see down here uh, a test file if you go over to your um, server over here you'll see it it has been uploaded okay we'll see it right there test okay the file folder has been uploaded okay so we can go ahead and close that now there's a you want to open up a regular browser now okay there's one more thing you have to do. Okay, there's a URL that you're going to be using uh, in order to finish the installation, and you'll find it right here. Whatever your domain.com. Okay, I'm just putting mine in here. It is profitsolutions.com, which is where I uploaded the uh, the WordPress installation. Okay, and as you'll notice, I used uh, test. I renamed my folder test 
so this is where the folder is going to be this is where the new WordPress installation will be so it's going to be ebizprofitsolutions.com forward slash test forward slash WP dash admin forward slash install dot PHP okay you want to go ahead and put that in your browser window and hit enter and there you go okay now they'll just need a little more information from you here um, as far as you know the final as a setting up of your blog I'm just gonna put in test just for this video here if I can spell it right okay and put in an email address okay and if you want to you I'd usually leave this check to allow my blog to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati because you do of course okay and just click on install WordPress okay and here you have your username and password username is usually they give you the username admin you can change that later on if you want but you need to copy this password notice it says note that password carefully Okay, it's a random password. It's generated for you, and uh, once you log in to your back office, to your WordPress back office, you can change that. But I would recommend that you just uh, highlight that password, copy it, and just remember that your username is admin. Okay, and you click your login button. Now they're going to log you in. Usually, well, usually they do. This in this case they didn't. Maybe they changed things a little bit click on admin and I mean we'll insert enter admin in your username box and you want to paste in the password they just gave you okay and click login and there you go you're in your back office on your new block okay uh, now at the beginning you're gonna get the uh, you're using an auto-generated password for your account. Would you like to change it? I recommend that you go to your profile page as soon as possible and change your password. Right down here at the bottom, you'll see new password. You can put in your password, whatever you want to use. Okay, I'll just change that right now. Okay, and update profile and there you go now let's just go up here and visit the site here and you'll notice right there is your new URL for your new blog okay it's ebiz I've got it on ebizprofitsolutions.com forward slash test okay and there it is your WordPress blog hello world uh, you can log it back and go back uh, to your site admin if you want to click the back button or go to site admin here and it'll just take you right back to your site admin where you can do whatever you want to do with the blog okay but that's basically it um, it's not too hard go over, the, go over this video a couple of times until you get it and uh, it's really pretty easy to do okay now you'll notice this is on, in a subdirectory so if I just go to ebizprofitsolutions.com it hasn't been affected Okay, let's click on that and let's go over to ebizprofitsolutions.com right here. Okay, as you can see, the main domain has not been affected. Uh, you have a complete WordPress installation at your new URL, which is which I chose uh, to use test uh, for this video. So if you just add that to the end of your main domain name and click on enter, it will take you to your new blog. Okay, you can go back into your site admin office, start blogging, and uh, you can add as many of these as you want to on your uh, main domain. So, my name is Rodney Brooks, and I just wanted to get that out to you, and uh, I hope this was helpful. Take care. Bye-bye.